Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a Friday morning. It's the week before Memo uh, July 4th weekend, so we're happy it's the end of the week. We've been dealing with rain all week. This is really the first floors we've poured all this week, so it's going to be nice today. We're going to take advantage of it and get this project done. We've got 21 yards showing up today for this house and garage, 3,500 fiber mesh water reducer. It's the middle of summer. We're glad for the good temperatures. We just need to see some sun. About a 36 by 28 house, 26, 24 garage. All right, guys, so this video is going to be about Tomahawk's battery operated power screed. So, Tomahawk contacted us and wanted to send us their screed so we could try it out, use it in some videos, let you guys know what we think. So, you'll be able to see us use it to screed this floor. Now, this is only the second floor we've used it on. We actually used it the day before this on another house that's just about this size. It was a little bit smaller. So, that video, I'll link that video down below too. But right now, we got to get the concrete poured here first but in order to give us something to screed. And this is a pretty typical job for us every single day. You know, a house and garage like this or maybe two garages or a big house. You know, and then we also do all kinds of other stuff like patios and pool decks, stamp concrete, uh, repair and concrete, epoxy floors. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. But for these, for this type of floor right here, this is a pretty typical foundation for Maine. We live in Maine, the northeast. And a lot of the new houses up here in Maine have this full basement type foundation. That's Those walls are about eight feet tall. And then with a garage attached to it like this. And then there's a little bulkhead, that little jut out way in the back on the left is what we call a bulkhead. Some guys call that a dog house. So that sits outside the main house, but it gives you access into the basement from the outside. Now we got two trucks coming today because we're pouring the house and the garage. I'll have the garage uh, video on a separate video from this. So this will just be the house pour using the Tomahawks battery screed. What we usually like to do, especially when there's five of us here, we got two two guys here for summer help. The guy in the green shirts, Eric, he's a school teacher. He's worked for us for over 25 years. And then the guy in the blue shirt is Luke. He's a new guy that just started just a couple days ago. So he's pretty green and we're kind of teaching him as we go. He's still in high school. So he'll be a senior in high school this year. So if you guys want to say you know, hi to Luke down in the comments, please do. So far, so good. He's working out really good. He's a really hard worker. He listens well. And then uh, when, when you tell him what to do, he actually does what you tell him to do. So that's kind of what you're looking for in a new person. The first truck, I believe, had, you know, nine or ten yards on. What we typically like to do is we like just to dump that first truck right out, get him headed back to the plant. So the dispatcher can use him either for another job or sometimes they have to re-trip him back to our job. So we, we just like to dump the whole thing right out. And we know, you know, it might take us 10 minutes to dump out 10 yards. And then doing when you do this every day, you know how much time you have to work with it. So, And you know how much time it's going to take you to get it screeded and bull floated. So dumping out the whole truck really isn't a, a big deal to us. It actually gives us, you know, the more concrete we have to work with, the quicker the pour goes for us. And we, we like to flip the chute over like that when we pouring down over a wall like this. So we, we'll do either this or we have like a tremie boot we'll hook on the end of the chute. We'll use that sometimes. Um, this works really good though. It's fast. It, uh, the concrete doesn't splatter. And you can see Eric can kind of manipulate the chute a little bit to move it back and forth. So it does help pouring over the wall. Makes it pretty fast. Darren's shooting grades with a grade stick. So he's giving us... The, the top of slab grade right in the middle and you'll see how we strike those pads off in a second in order for us to give something to go by to use the the vibrating screed so we like to we like to hand screed our pads and just to make sure they're absolutely perfect and flat and level and on the outside when we mag the edges on the outside you know we got a it's hard to see but we got a chalk line a blue chalk line snapped around there that we shot using the laser level. 
And a lot of times we'll do that in advance, like the day before, the week before, so we can come up and check the grade in order to figure the right amount of concrete. Right now we're getting that, that center pad screeded, and we call that a wet pad. So we're gonna screed right off these wet pads, and there's the screed right there. We got a Tomahawk has all kinds of different lengths of boards from four feet to 14 feet. They go in two foot increments. They're made out of magnesium, so they're fairly lightweight. The f my first initial thought when I picked this thing up was, wow, this thing's, this thing's rugged. I mean, it's built really, really well. And I'm gonna time, I'm gonna time how long it takes us to screed this bay here. So you can see just how fast or how slow, I guess, if you guys use a vibra screed all the time, it takes us to screed about a 20 foot section by 14 feet. Now this is, this is only my second time using this because I did use it the day before a little bit. So we're still kind of getting used to what we like for like how much vibration you need, how fast you want to pull it back as you're screeding. We like, we're pretty fussy with our floors. We like to make sure they come out really, really flat and level if that's what the owner wants. So we t may tend to go just a little bit slower than most. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of other you guys are pretty fussy too, but when it comes to these vibrating screeds, you know, we found, we've been using them for years. The faster you pull back, it gives the rakers less time to rake the concrete at the right level. So you're just creating truck problems, you know, high spots, low spots. You give the you give the rakers time to rake behind you and you can get a really, really flat level floor if they keep the concrete at the right level. They don't want to get it too high, but it also doesn't want to be too low. There's a there's a certain amount of concrete that I like to pull back when I'm pulling back on a screed like this. And you can see the pace I'm going. It's not crazy fast for sure. But it's just slow and steady is what I call it. Slow and steady gets the floor done right. I'm getting close to the 20 foot mark right now, I'll show you. And then the timer will stop when I stop. So there's 20 by 14 section, 280 square feet in a minute and 52 seconds. So that's not too bad. And then, so that's basically the end of the first truck right there. The second truck, so you can see the chute for the second truck that we'll use not only to finish the basement, but in the garage too. But you can see when Darren's running the bull float over that, just know how nice and flat it looks under the bull float, how smooth it is. And he basically just has to go down, you know, down and back, and he's done bull floating because of the pace that the vibrating screed works up as it screeds. It makes bull floating super simple. We're using the 3500 PSI concrete. That's a pretty normal floor mix for us. It's got fiber mesh in it, it's got water reducer, and you can see I'm checking just to make sure that everything's perfect right there and within like maybe a sixteenth of an inch is about what we like our tolerance and I mean that's probably about the tolerance of the laser anyway. But if it's anything more than that, the receiver on the grade six is gonna tell you and then you can go back and just fix it. The, from what from the specs and I'll show you the specs later on in the video for this but from what the specs say and I didn't weigh this but the head and the handles and the battery part of the vibrating screed the tomahawk screed is about 40 pounds and I would say that blade that 14 foot blade is probably another 10 to 15 pounds so you're talking right in the 50s somewhere for the total weight of that right there And we pour, you know, we're pouring what I would say with the water reducer in the mix, probably close to a six and a half, seven slump. That's about our normal mix slump for pouring concrete floors is right around six and a half or seven. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty loose concrete. And that's the way we like it because we pour a lot. Um, but this, I feel like, you could really use this screed on slumps, you know, down to a three or a four slump pretty easy because it's got quite a bit of weight to it compared to some other uh, battery screeds I've used. 
and it has quite a bit of vibration to it with that battery that's a pretty big battery on that thing I think it's a 36 volt battery that'll be in the specs later too I'll show you but um, so it has enough vibration to do a pretty stiff slump but it's not it's not so crazy heavy that you can't work use it on looser slumps like this either you can see when you time when you time it like this I mean it really doesn't take a heck of a lot of time to screed down a pretty good sized section of floor but again part of that is how good are your rakers too do you have to stop and start so there it took us less than four minutes to screed half this floor right here we got about 20 feet I think the total length of this foundation was 36 feet 38 feet something like that So we're on to the second truck and what we like about you know having trucks back to back is not definitely not having to wait in between trucks and that's we usually get two trucks every single morning on the books no matter what and then if we have to adjust the amount of concrete we need we just need to give the dispatcher enough notice to you know add more trucks if it's a three truck job or four or five we got to give him enough notice for that but he puts us down for two every single day and you can see what two trucks can do is a pretty good size you know house and garage so we can get quite a bit done without half having to worry about searching for concrete every day and that's just based on you know having a good relationship with the concrete batch man the concrete dispatcher making sure you pay for your concrete on time <laughs> making sure you unload the trucks in a timely fashion so he gets them right back. I mean, it all it all makes a difference when you work together as a team with uh, the concrete dispatcher and the concrete truck drivers too. I mean, you got to be you got to be friendly with them too because they're kind of working with you every single day. You can see it's got a handle down by the motor to lift it with. Now me, I'm 58 years old right now, so you can see I can. I can still pick that thing up, set it down okay. I don't know if I'd want to do, you know, 20,000 square feet of it at my age. <laughs> but for you younger guys, it's probably not going to be any trouble for something like that. So here we're going about 14 feet before we stop. And, you know, the screed is 14 feet wide. So got about 168 foot section or bay right here that we're doing. And then I thought I'd time it for you. Not only time it, but I'll give you a few facts about the speed I'm going here in a second. You'll see they'll pop up on the screen. On the screen. And it definitely doesn't look like I'm going very fast, does it? But I'm just being careful. I'm looking at both my ends. I want to make sure both my ends are touching there and they're leaving a tiny bit of a line in the concrete. So I know I'm scoring. We call it scoring. And I'm not rising up, I'm not leaving a hump, or I'm not digging in and leaving a big dip somewhere. So I'm screening about 168 square feet a minute. You can see that that was about a 14 by 14 foot piece, which comes out to almost 3 square feet per second. So you can use that if you guys are doing big, big floors, you know, you can kind of use that as a gauge as to how long it's going to take you to actually screed a big floor. And then Luke's both floating behind me and down and back once again. That's all it takes. We always, you see how we flip the chute over again to finish this last piece off, how much easier that takes. And we have a little six foot chute we use too. That's kind of handy sometimes on some jobs, that extra six feet, not having to pull that. see we had a little concrete ball there you guys get those in your mixes too <laughs> let me know down in the comments that was a pretty good size one that was about the size of a basketball right there it's one good thing about these 10 weeks in the summer you can see me standing up there watching 
<laughs> not having to work. That's what's good about having some extra help sometimes. So here's some of the features you guys can you can stop the video and read through them if you want. Um, I'm going to go through the features, the specs, what's included, stuff like that. And this is you can get all this on Tomahawk's website, and I'll have a link for that down in the description too. And then in a minute here, we'll go over you know the cost of it with the 14 foot blade, and then the cost of it just for the head. You know, and you can you can go on the website and check out the prices of the different size blades depending on what you think you might need. And again, I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video. So right there, about $35.59.99 with a 14-footer on it. And then just the unit itself is about almost $2,800. So I'll, I'll have a link for it down in the description. I, and I'll have a discount code for you guys also down there if you want to get uh, Tomahawk. Pretty sure Tomahawk's going to give me a discount code so you can get a certain percent off if you buy it through that link. And then just let me know overall what you think down in the comments. Or if, if you've ever used a battery screed, if you're thinking of using one, you know, what do you think of this one? And we, you know, overall, overall after talking with my guys, you know, after using it for two days, um, we definitely, we definitely liked it. We'd have to give it, I'd say I'd give it a thumbs up for sure. It's a good rugged power screed. I think... Uh, if you bought it, it's an investment, you know, something you're going to use a lot of. I feel like it would last a long, long time. The battery is supposed to, you know, they claim it's going to screed 60,000 square feet before you need to recharge it. And that it will last for about an hour straight. So you can see, I don't know how many, we only used it a few minutes, maybe less than, probably less than seven, six or seven minutes to screed this floor here. So we could probably use it on seven or eight jobs, ten jobs maybe, before we'd even have to recharge the battery. And then uh, the battery, it says it recharges fully in about two hours, so that doesn't take very long either. And that's how we get it out of the foundation right there. Sometimes, sometimes it's easier said than done, but that wasn't too bad. Now, this is basically how we screed stuff when we finish and we got to come to a corner like this uh, and then climb up over an eight foot wall. We'll just use the little screed, screed our, screed our way into the corner and then, you know, work our way out up the ladder with the mag float. But I just, you know, I want to thank Tomahawk, number one, for sending us the screed, letting us try it and, you know, for letting us just give our own opinion of what we think and how we feel our own honest opinion and then for allowing you guys to comment down in the videos what you think and if you have any questions you know just ask them down in the comments and e either I can get back to you or Blake from Tomahawk can comment back from you down in the comments and you know if you've got any questions on them hopefully we can answer your questions down there if, if whether or not you're thinking of trying or getting one of these or not but that's gonna do it for this video I'm sure we'll have it on some more videos coming up in the future and you know thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one all right so darren will finish that up we're gonna go get started on the garage that's the luxury of having a few extra guys is you can do more than one thing at a time that's what we like Good job, darren.